Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions making my triumphant return to video logging or vlogging or vlogging? Vlogging. Vlogging. I like vlogging. It's like a video log. See, that's how I view it. I view it vlog, and I will always choose to say it vlog. Uh, anyway, we're back here at a, at a park. Um, I've got, we're going to get to that, getting to, to vlogging stuff or vlogging stuff. But um, this is the start of a new series, a pilot, if you will, um, for a short Q&A series, a mini-series. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I'm going to... We'll see. Let us know what the like or let me know what the like button. Uh, if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, I'll try to do more. Uh, but for right now, we're going to record a few episodes, and they will be uploaded um, intermittently here and there, maybe once, maybe twice a week, depending on how much recording uh, Katie and I get done by uh, in the next few days. And from from that point forward, we'll we'll uh, we'll let we'll see we'll see. Maybe this will be the return. I don't know. I've always liked to do this stuff, but uh, we'll get back to that later. So I'm going to be smoking a cigar. Just helps me think. It's my thinking tool. Uh, so get ready to hit that like button. We're going to start right now. All right. Now that the cigar is lit, I want to take this time to let everybody know that you should only consume tobacco uh, if you are of legal consuming age in your state or country of residence. Um, it is addictive. I know that personally. In fact, that has to do with our first question. But uh, just be careful. Moderation. Um, there are always places to go get help if you do have uh, suffer from this addiction and you want to want to get help. Um, there's plenty of plenty of places, plenty of resources available to you. And um, and yeah, so let's get started. Now, Katie has a question. Katie's actually producing the show with me. Oh, now, God. she's got a question. She, she does. She's actually producing, and she's got a question. What's your question, Katie? My question is, as some people who may have paid attention before, you said that you had a nicotine addiction before. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? Well, um, a lot of people might have an, uh, have an issue with, hello, we're Hi. filming. <laughs> some people might have uh, an issue with the fact that I did have a nicotine addiction about uh, a year and a half, two years ago. I was, uh, I was a dipper, um, and... I, I was able to kick the habit. I've been clean, clean. Uh, I haven't been using nicotine uh, regularly for about um, about a year, year or so now. And um, you know, I, I'm of the mind talking about addiction and overcoming addiction. A lot of people seem to think and say that when you are overcoming an addictive substance, you can never use that substance again. Alcoholics do it. Um, through Alcoholics Anonymous and um, other people, you know, really hardcore drugs and stuff like that. Uh, nicotine, of course, even though uh, the funny part about AA is that they encourage you to intake caffeine and cigarettes. They encourage you to do those things as uh, substitutes for alcohol consumption. And they don't really seem to care that they're just as addictive and sometimes bad for you. But... Uh, I'm, I'm not of that mind. I am not a person that says uh, it's, you, you are completely unable to, um, to consume a substance that you have either abused or were addicted to. Uh, because I think once you move past the chemical addiction, if it is a chemically addictive substance, whatever it may be, once you move past that, once you get past that period of withdrawals um, and, and chemical dependency, at that point, I, for me at least, I don't, I don't mean to speak, you know, this is how it should be, but for me it's about self-control. And this cigar does not mean that I'm going to start shoving tobacco into my mouth again uh, every single chance I get. And I've, I've, I'm secure in that, in that notion, and I don't really feel, um, although it may be ironic, it may, I don't think it necessarily hypocritical for me to have uh, kicked an addiction, an addiction, and then partake again in a in a different, albeit in a different form, uh, of of this of the same substance that I was addicted to. So, addiction. I'm not again. I'm not a doctor, but addiction is a is a very again to reiterate what I said at the top of the show or video or whatever. It's a serious thing, and it's about. I mean, you know you and you know your psyche and what you 
if you get in touch with a medical professional and, and they can help you through it. But for me personally, it's, uh, it's about self-control. And this is just something uh, to help me think and look regal. It does. Oh, yeah. It does. It helps. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's my view on, on intaking tobacco, even though I was once addicted to it. And now I am not. And, and on that note, as we get farther and farther into this damn thing, I'm going to be the oxygen. Is that what happens? Oxygen gets deprived from your brain? Isn't that it? What? The, the impact of, of smoking. Well, that and the, the car, or carbon the monoxide to your, to your brain? The, the feeling of lightheadedness. Maybe. Because that, really that's sure. going to happen to me because I don't smoke regularly. Um, even though I'm not inhaling this, you don't inhale cigars or you're not necessarily supposed to. Unless you're a badass, real Americans, American, American. don't uh, you don't inhale cigars. But uh, I will probably get lightheaded, and, th and the thoughts will be a little bit more free flowing. So that's one of the advantages of this uh, of this nice series we have here. Oh, and on that note, uh, <laughs> I have the most jerry rigged of setups right now. I swear, I was I was on Twitter earlier, and. Um, I was looking for, for uh, lavalier microphones, uh, the, the clip kind that you've seen professionals use, and I was researching uh, you know, what you need to make that happen because my, what I'm using to record video, I don't have a DSLR camera. I've got a Sony Vloggy, which autofocus is a son of a biatch. Um, and uh, uh, on that note, if this uh, very crappy series does become autofocused or unfocused for a, a small period of time, I apologize for that. <laughs> There's nothing I can really do about that, but I've got, it turns out that lavalier microphones are not uh, stereo 3.5 millimeter inputs. They wouldn't work with something like an iPhone or any other kind of smartphone uh, that has audio recording stuff. You need a special digital video uh, or digital audio recorder or a converter. Those converters are hard to come by. They're expensive on top of the lavalier microphones. So what I've got for right now, again, likes and favorites do help us out. Help us out, get better equipment. I've got a uh, <laughs> the standard iPhone headset with the microphone clipped via bobby pins to my collar. And that's running to my iPhone, which is running uh, a recording system. And I hope it's still on. It still is. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so if that drops out intermittently, if the audio changes in uh, in these videos, that's why. So like and favorite to help us get better con or better uh, products, better uh, tech, so that this can actually be I don't know somewhat decent and not me with freaking bobby pins attached to my shirt and a uh, the standard iTunes microphone setup. Shut up, ducks.